Hi, right, welcome back to Hot Topics TV, y'all. Listen, <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into this one. So, I, I can't even fathom. Anyways, here's the news. Two brothers were charged with murder of a New Jersey grandmother who was fatally shot as she celebrated her birthday in Newark last year. This is what the Essex County Prosecutor's Office said on Monday. But here's a story behind this. Officials said that Jonathan Ritchie, who's 21 years old, and his brother, Josiah Ritchie, who is 19, both of Newark, New Jersey, have both been charged with murder, conspiracy to commit murder, unlawful possession of a weapon, and possession of a weapon for an unlawful purpose, over the March 11, 2021 shooting of a 63-year-old Deborah Derrick. Here's the thing about this, though. It's the circumstances under which this 63-year-old grandmother lost her life and, you, and, and what happened to her sister before that. Pay attention. Derrick, who worked as a certified nursing assistant, she was a CNA. And y'all know CNA work and ain't no easy work. You understand? So she's a CNA and she worked at the Newark Beth Israel Medical Center. She was releasing balloons on her front porch to celebrate her birthday and the birthday of her late twin sister when she was gunned down. Listen to the dynamics within that. So she's celebrating the birthday of her twin sister. And it is also her birthday because they're twins and she dies on their birthday, fam. At 63 years old. So Romana Derrick, another one of Derrick's sisters, told the news that the sister that died before, she got killed because the place was getting shot up and she ran out there to shield her grandchildren from gunfire. She said that she was caught in a crossfire and she was making sure that everybody was safe. And she was pushing the two granddaughters in the door, get inside, get inside, shielding them with her body. And that's how she lost her life. I don't know what kind of a neighborhood this is, but that neighborhood sounds like it needs to be evacuated and shut down. Or it sounds like it needs to be a constant police presence and cameras everywhere in that neighborhood. Catherine Clark, a spokeswoman for the prosecutor's office, confirmed to the outlet that the grandmother was not the intended target. She just died from stray bullets. The two brothers, though, who live, the two brothers who are responsible for the murder, who've been charged for the murder, they live with their mother and their stepfather and they the two brothers are not even from america they're originally from guyana and they had previously lived in atlanta before moving to new jersey both are currently held in the essex county correctional facility in newark and they will be facing this murder charge and conspiracy to murder charge it's crazy as hell. You 19 and you 21 and you take away the life of a 63 year old person on her birthday. More tragically, this is the birthday also of her twin who was killed in a similar manner because of gun violence in her neighborhood trying to shield her grandchildren from it. It gets no sadder than that. That's pretty sad. That's pretty sad. Nowadays, man. 19 20 21 the youths don't care and they're not trying to really live long it's sad but a lot of them actually if you speak to them they'll tell you stuff like man listen i'll be lucky if i live to see 21 like they sound hopeless hopeless and they wander around aimlessly and they get into all kinds of stuff they're popping pills, they're smoking exotic weed mixed with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And they're doing all kinds of stuff that takes their mind away from their reality, from being progressive, from enduring, from uh, being focused, you know. And then there's social media, which they're bombarded every day with images of 
young people who are wildly successful, rich and young, and they get it without going the traditional route. So most of these young people, they're not staying in school. They're trying to be like their favorite rapper or their favorite media personality that they see, their favorite influencer or their favorite whatever that they see on social media, right? And they go out and they live that life. They want to party all day, party all night, make a lot of money. I don't know how when you don't work for it. Gang life, gang affiliation, sling a little bit of dope here and there, that type of stuff. Have pretty girls around you. The pretty girls want to be the girls in the videos and all that. So there goes your daughter trying to be some video vixen in real life. And there goes your son trying to be his favorite gangster rapper in real life. And the end result is this wild lifestyle that they're living. They're taking away stuff that they can't replace. 63 years on earth compared to 19 and 21 years. Damn it, man. Even if you combine both of them age, they still didn't, you still couldn't get the age of this grandmother. She was 63 years old. Karma is a bitch, but not only is karma a bitch, life itself is a bitch because you can't tell me. Sometimes, you know, when stuff happens, you got to ask, where is God? You know, people get offended and that's religious people. But I'm asking a real question. Where is God? When a little girl who's five years old, gets pinned down and raped by a grown-ass 30-something-year-old man, I ask, where is God? What did that little girl do to deserve that? That ordeal, that traumatic, painful ordeal, where is God? When a woman who is 63 years old, who is not involved in the shits, simply goes outside to her front porch to release some balloons in memory of her twin sister, who died from gunshots trying to shield her grandkids from getting shot, give them a chance to live and ends up losing her life. And then she dies on her birthday while releasing balloons for her sister, her twin sister. And she dies in a similar manner from some wild young people shooting up the place and takes her life. You gotta ask, where is God? Like, what did she do to deserve that? But that's life for you, man. You get hit in life. And <laughs> sometimes you really got to ask, where is God? Or what the hell did I do to deserve this? You know what I mean? I don't know. If this is karma, she must have done something really bad in her past way long ago. If this is karma, her sister must have done something way, way long ago in her past. That's really bad. I don't know. Damn. Damn. Leave your comments in the comment section below as far as those their immigration situation goes though they're originally from guyana i know a couple of things here i know that in the u.s they revoke citizenship under certain circumstances so your citizenship could very well be revoked and you could be sent back to the country in which you were born that's a common practice but i believe guyana is one of the countries that actually turned around a plane full of deportees and sent them back to the u.s and we covered that story a couple of years ago where the uh guyanese leader i don't know if they have a president or prime minister or whatever uh he sent the plane back he basically said hey these people you have on this plane they left guyana a long time ago they therefore they gave up their citizenship and their loyalty to Guyana. They are not Guyanese. Okay. Most of them were raised in the United States of America and they developed their criminal mindset in the United States of America. Like these two brothers who lived in Atlanta before moving to New Jersey and still kept up the same gangster mentality or hood nigga mentality. So don't send them here. You're not sending them here to destroy Guyana. You keep them there in the United States of America and you deal with them because you made them. And to some degree, I gotta, I, I have to agree with that because the only thing people like this do when they go back is they carry on the same behavior because they're programmed now a certain way. And the things they can't get that they're used to, they wreak havoc for it. They're not going back to Guyana, just like when they deport them to Jamaica. Most of them ain't going back home to just sit down and suffer and then try to pull themselves up by their bootstraps, admit that they made some costly mistakes, start their life over again. If they were in criminality from before, more than likely they're going to end up in criminality again. And we don't need that. 
You know what I mean? So let's see. Let's see how they'll be prosecuted. Let's see what the outcome of this case will be. We'll continue to follow this case, though. So stay close. All right. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV. I'm out. Peace.